Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this tutorial today. Please do like our videos and subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate it. And let's go ahead and jump right in and get started on this cute little shrug and the hood that we're going to add on to it as well. So for this project, I did use um, Yarn B Soft and Sleek. It's, um, it's the color Pumpkin Paradise and I used two of these um, and, that, and I had some left over so this would be plenty um, for this. So um, for mine, what you're going to do is you're going to start, your, your starting chain is going to be, um, I'm going to make mine 40 inches long. And the way that I got that measurement is that I'm making it a small. And so you want to measure from elbow to elbow of the person that you are making it for just like this. So just a little bit past each elbow and that's going to be 40 inches for the one I am making. So, and it fits my daughter Bonnie. And so what we're going to do first is we're just going to make a chain of 40. What you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot. Put your hook through, tighten it up, and you just yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that is making a chain. And you're going to do this until your chain length reaches 40 inches, or if you're making a different size, until your chain is from elbow to elbow across the person that you are making it for. So I'm just going to keep on doing my chain here and you guys keep on doing that as well. And as you go, um, you can just keep, you know, have your tape measure handy so that you can measure. I'm going to do mine all the way until I get to 40 inches. So if you guys are making a small, uh, an adult small uh, is about what fits Bonnie. So that's what I'm making today. So you just want to keep doing that and you can pause the video and finish that up. And as you can see, um, just stop here and make it your length. And I'm showing you here, mine uh, got all the way to 40 here and that is exactly what you want to do so go ahead and pause your video here and come back when you have your chain the length that you want it the other measurement you're going to need for this is going to be the width that you're going to make it you have the length which is from elbow to elbow and you also want to measure the width that you're going to need and how you're going to do that is you measure around the biggest part of the person's arm who is who this is for so you just measure all the way around the biggest part of their arm loosely because you don't want it to be super tight and that is going to be how wide you're going to need to make this so for me to get to 40 inches um i had 200 chains and that made me get 40 inches i'm going to chain up two more and we're going to turn our work and we're going to go back down the chain and what we're going to do is single crochet across every stitch all the way down our chain and I like to go into these back bumps I think it makes the project look a little bit neater so you just go right in there yarn over yarn over pull through two so you go into the back bump you can see once you get the first one that it kind of the V stitches are on the bottom and those little bumps stick up and so they're much easier to see so you just pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, make those single crochets all the way down this entire chain. So depending on the size hook you're using, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. You can use any size hook or yarn that you would like, just as long as you get the measurements right, it doesn't matter. But um, for me, I am that's what I'm using. So we're just gonna go all the way back down it with single crochets. And so go ahead and do that and I'm going to do mine and I will meet you back here when we're done with our single crochet row. Okay, here we are back. I am done with all of these single crochets down the whole 200 chains. So that should look something like this. Um, if you are done also, um, this is just single crochets all the way down and we are getting ready for row two. And what we're going to do for row two is we're gonna chain one and turn. So let's get your hook there, tighten it back up. Go ahead, chain one. I'm sorry, let's chain three and turn our work. Chain three, turn our work, and we are going to skip the first stitch here. And we're gonna go into that second stitch
We're going to yarn over and we're going to do two double crochets. So there's one, two, we're going to chain two, and we're going to do two more double crochets into that same stitch. There's one, and here's two. Now, so it should look something like that, all in the same, all in the same stitch there. You've got two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, all in that same stitch. And so then we're going to skip three stitches, yarn over, skip three stitches, one, two, three. And we're going to go into that fourth stitch and we're going to do two double crochets. There's one and two. We're going to chain two and two more double crochets into that same stitch. And this is what we're going to repeat down the whole row. So you yarn over, skip three stitches, one, two, three, go into the fourth stitch, you're going to double crochet, two, there's one, here's two, chain two, two more double crochets in that same space, yarn over, count, skip three, go into the fourth, double crochet, another double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochets into that same stitch. And so it should start looking something like that. And you're going to do that down the whole, the whole chain there. Do that down the whole way. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. You guys can pause the video and do that. And I'll meet you back right here when we're done. Okay, so when you're done, it should look like this when you've completed the whole row there. And I'm just going to show you at the end here. Um, you're going to do, you're going to skip the last three. And you're going to do your last last uh, two double crochets there's one two you're gonna go ahead and chain two do two more in that same stitch and you should have two stitches left at the end of your row and what you're gonna do is you're going to skip one stitch and then do a double crochet into the very last stitch. So mine's a little funky because it is the that chain where we where we turned our work, so it's a little to the side. But you just find find that and go into that very last stitch and do a double crochet, and that will finish out our second row. And now let's go on. Well, I cannot go on to the third row after I can. There we go. Get in there to make this double crochet. So that is what it should look like at the end of the second row. And now we're just going to chain up three. There's three. We're going to yarn over and turn our work. And we're going to make um, into that chain space there. That's what we're gonna be working in all the way across the row. So we've chained three, you go in here and you're gonna do two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets, just like we did in the previous row. So we're gonna do that here. All working into the tops of the previous rows, or in the chain spaces of the previous row. So then we move on to the next chain space Make sure you don't go into that bottom little space there that's that's in between the double crochets. You want to go into the actual chain spaces there where you have chained chain two in between the double crochets. And you're going to do two double crochets. Chain two. 
and two double crochets. Yarn over, just move straight to the next one. That chain space there. Go in, do two double crochets. Chain two. Whoops. I had to pull that one out. So two, there's my second double crochet. Chain two. And then two more double crochets. And you are going to do that all the way down the row here, just in the tops in those chain spaces. Chain two and two more double crochets. It should look like that with them right on top of each other. And we're going to do that all the way down. So here we are at the end of this row. We've got um, one more left. I'm just going to show you the end one more time where we're just going to yarn over, go into that chain space, do two double crochets. There's one, two, chain two let's do two more double crochets and then we should have two stitches left and what we're going to do is we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to do a double crochet into the top of the previous rows chain space where we chained up three we're going to do a double crochet there Okay, so it should look like that. Then we'll just start the next row by chaining three, yarning over, and starting um, starting again, going into the chain spaces of the previous row, and doing two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And we are going to be repeating this pattern until we get to the width that we want for me that is going to be 15 inches because that what is what um is the biggest loosely very loose and biggest measure around um the arms of who i'm making it for so your measurement may be different you may need to make it bigger or smaller depending on who you're making it for but we're going to do this same pattern all the way um until we get to 15 inches and so just keep doing this, uh, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, um, all the way down. It's going to look like that as it just keeps getting wider, as your rows keep getting wider and wider. And um, you're going to do it till 15 inches right now. It's about two inches. Three rows get me about two inches. So just keep going with that, and I'm going to meet you back after you get um, the width that you want, and we'll move on from there. Okay, here I have finished. I have got um, completed all of these rows, and so this is what yours should look like, something like this. And you can get your measuring tape and measure. And as you can see, well, my camera angle is a little bit not good, but here we go. I am at 15 inches, and that is how wide I want it to be, to be able to go around Bonnie's arms. And so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over in half, and these are going to be your armholes, like this. So what you're going to do is it's going to be an armhole here, and then you're going to leave a part in the middle open, because that's going to be the part that goes around the person's back. And then over here on the other side, so see it'll be open kind of like that in the middle. And then over here on the other side, you're going to sew the bottom together to make an, an armhole on that side. So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm going to sew each side. I'm going to line it up there and sew it together up to the 15th row for me or until you get to about 9 inches. So you can measure that length uh, to sew together. Um, well, you can sew it together or you can crochet it together. Either way is fine. Um, sometimes I sew 
sometimes I crochet it together. It just depends on which way you prefer to do it, really. So I'll just show you guys um, a few minutes of this here. I'm just going to single crochet it together. You put it through one side, and then the corresponding side over there, just go through the same stitch. If I can get in that one, there we go. So then you just yarn over, pull up a, a loop. Yarn over, pull through both. So I'm just single crocheting. Very, very simple, just single crochet it together and make sure your stitches are lined up. And make sure you're going through both sides. I cannot get it through that one for some reason. There we go. And so you're just going to keep doing that all the way down until you have sewn it together. Just keep lining them up like that. You can kind of tell where the where the chain spaces are. You can kind of hold those together and, and will help you help you keep it all lined up there. But we're just going to keep single crocheting it together until we get to uh, for me I did 15 rows which came out to 9 inches. So go ahead and do that and I will we'll see what it looks like when we're done. Here we are, I have finished single crocheting the sleeve together. Um, so it should look something like this once you're done. And you can just use your measuring tape to see how much you've done. I've done about nine inches there, and that's what I want. So do both sides of your sleeves this way. Um, so obviously you're done with one. If you're here, go ahead and do the other side and just make sure that you do it up the same amount. Um, and when you are done with that, it will look like this. As you can see, you've got both of them about nine inches, and that's where your armholes are. And now we're going to work on the cuff. And so what you're going to do is get one side um, of your sleeve, and we're going to attach the yarn at the end down here where the wrist is. It doesn't really matter where you attach it at. I attached it at the seam. Uh, so you can attach it there as well. I like to tie a knot there. And we're going to... Let's see. I, I went ahead and hid the tails in as I... Um, we're going to half double crochet. We're going to be working around that edge there. We're going to chain up one, yarn over, and we're going to half double crochet all the way around. And so I'm just kind of putting a um, half double crochet in the top of where the half double crochets are or two in the chain spaces. And that is all we're going to do all the way around this sleeve. We're going to half double crochet. And so I will meet you back at the end of this round when you are done and let you know how many that I did. Okay, here we are at the end. I have finished my half double crochets around and I ended up doing 58. Your count may be different and that's okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain up 11. Again, we're making a cuff. So we're going to chain 11 and then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So single crochet there, and then single crochet all the way down until you get back to the sleeve. So all we're doing here is just single crocheting, making sure you have 10 at the end. So I, whenever I'm doing cuffs like this that are already always attached, I always try to make sure I count every time because sometimes it's real easy to add a stitch or take one away even and be on accident. So make sure you have 10 single crochets. Once you get to the bottom here, you should have 10. And then we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So 
So you're going to slip stitch there. And then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one. Turn our work, go into, skip the slip stitches and go into the single crochet. And then we are going to back loop only double crochet, or I'm sorry, back loop only single crochet all up those 10 stitches. All the way up for those 10 stitches. So you're single crocheting into the back loop only for 10 single crochets. And that should bring you back up to the top of where you chained up. This gets a little easier to hold as you get more rows done here. These first rows are always a little finicky to handle. Then you are going to chain one, turn your work. And we're going to single crochet again back down in the back loops only. So instead of going under both of those V stitches, you're just going into that back loop. And this is going to create a ribbed cuff for our top. So just keep going on. And like I said, just it's worth it to count every time. And since it's just 10 stitches, it's easy to count. That way you don't... Uh, lose count and end up having to take your work out. Once you have 10 and you're back down at the bottom, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch on the cut on the sleeve, slip stitch it again, chain one, turn our work, skip those slip stitches and make sure you're going into your last single crochet, which should be the third there. Yeah. And you're going to go in and you're going to single crochet into the back loops only all the way back up. And this is what you're going to do till you make it all the way around your sleeve. You're just going to keep doing back loop only, single crochet, 10 up to the top, chain one, turn your work, single crochets in the back loop only all the way back down slip stitch to the next space on the sleeve do one more slip stitch across to the next stitch and then um and then chain one and go back up and we're going to do that all the way around and i'm going to meet you back when we're um almost done when we get back to there okay here we are i have done the cuff almost all the way around i just have a couple left so I'm going to show you how I finish this off. I am single crocheting back down to the sleeve. And then, as you can see, just have a couple of stitches left here. And that's what it should, should look like all the way around there. It should be looking like that. So that's the one that it's coming out of. So I'm going to slip stitch right there. Slip stitch underneath the one that is that we like the beginning round. And now what we're going to do is uh, cut our yarn and we can sew those together. And that will end our cuff. So I am going to sew these together instead of, um, if you wanted to single crochet them together, you could. I'm, I'm just going to, since it's just really short right here, I'm just going to use my yarn needle and just sew those together. So you just want to make sure that you have it lined up good and that it's all exactly where you need it to be. So go through the first stitch on this side. And 
and the corresponding stitch from the beginning chain and I'm just going to go back and forth making sure that I get all of them so we don't have any gaps Alright, and once you are done with that, it should look something like this, where you've got um, all of those sewn up. You can go ahead and make a knot and weave in your ends. And you're going to want to do this on both sleeves so that they look the same. So make sure that you do the same amount of chains and stitches on each side. Like I said, your half, the first row around of half double crochets might be different number than mine, and that's okay. Just make sure that it's the same on both sleeves. And then once you're done sewing it together and getting the ends sewn in, you are done with the cuffs. And then all we have to do is make our hood. And attach it so if you won't want the hood you know if you don't want a hooded shrug that's totally fine you can just have this cute little shrug right here uh, the sleeves the cuffs should look something like this and like I said and we're gonna make the hood and we'll just go ahead and get this thing finished up okay so this is what your project should look like so far you have both cuffs done and you can see the seam there. So what you can do now is you can go ahead and turn it right side out so the seam will be on the inside. Just kind of flip your sleeves there and that will just make it look a little nicer. And so we'll go ahead and do both sleeves, turn them, in, turn them right side out. And this should be what you have right here. So you know which way is the top and bottom because the bottom is gonna have these you can see kind of bumpy edges so you know that is going to be your bottom your top is going to have a straight edge because that's going to be where our starting chain was and this is the part that we're going to be sewing the hood on to later so that's just how you know top and bottom and so for now you can just put this part of the project away and we are going to um, start on the hood and so I'm going to give instructions for that next Okay, so before you get started, you want to measure for your hood. And you are going to do, just like this lovely little diagram shows, um, from shoulder to shoulder over top of the person's head. That's the measurement you want to use for how long your starting chain is going to be for your hood. So just um, touch their shoulder with a measuring tape, go over their head to the other shoulder, and that's going to be your starting chain length. So I went ahead and made my hood, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did with a much smaller version. Uh, so as you can see on the bottom part there, that's what uh, your hood will end up looking like. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did to make it look that way. So for our first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to chain that starting chain measurement that we just talked about. So for me, that was chaining 100 or 22 inches. Um, also, I did use two strands here because I wanted my hood to be a little bit stiffer, but you can use just one would be totally fine so once you get your chain the correct length we are going to go back across the row with half double crochet so that's yarning over going into that back bump second chain from the hook going into the back bump and then yarning over and pulling through all three and that's a half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet all the way back down your chain, which will be much longer than my sample chain that I just did right here. Uh, like I said, mine was 
22 inches, which was 100 chains for me. And so you're just going to go back down and half double crochet this whole length here. And you're actually going to do 10 rows of half double crochet. So if you want to go ahead and just keep going on that, um, we're going to half double crochet till the end, chain one, turn our work, and continue half double crocheting until we get um, 10 rows of half double crochets. So if you want to just get started on that, when you get done with your 10 rows of half double crochets, um, go ahead and come, pause the video and come back and we will um, move on from there. So once you're done with your 10 rows of half double crochets, it should look uh, like this top section here. That is my 10 rows, that long 10 rows of half double crochets. And then we're going to start on this pattern that you know very well because we did a whole lot of them for the body of the, of the project. So we're going to start on that again, which is just... Um, the chain three, skip one, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same space. So we're going to do three rows of that pattern on top of the ten rows of half double crochets. So you chain three, skip that first stitch, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same space skip three stitches, go into the fourth, and repeat. And that is going to be for three rows. Okay, so once you're done with the three rows of this, we're going to do ten more rows of half double crochets. And then we will again do three rows of the chain three, skip one, two double crochets in the next stitch, all in the same stitch, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. We're going to do three more rows of that. Then we will move to five rows of half double crochets. And then that will be the end of our hood. That is all we will have to do. So once you're done, this is what it's going to look like. You've got your 10 rows, 3, 10, 3, and then you've got 5 rows there. And that will be the end of your hood. And mine measures uh, right at 10 inches. And you can try it on to make sure that it fits. I just fits Bonnie perfectly right here at 10 inches. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to sew um, together or single crochet, either way is fine, uh, the back side. So you want to, to do the side, um, the side where you ended with five half double crochet rows that's the back that's the front of the hood that's how you'll know it's smaller up here at the front and the back part is where you're going to sew or single crochet that together down right through there so um go ahead and do that sew that or single crochet it together and when you're done it will look just like this i have finished that up and so that's what your hood looks like and you can turn it the other way so that the seam is on the inside and then you've got the seam down there shows you exactly where the middle of your hood is and it'll look like this and the hood will go on like that and that bottom part of the hood there you're going to find the middle of the top of your shrug and that's where we're going to attach it um, across across there so you find your shrug and you find the middle uh, make sure you're at the top of the shrug and not your bottom. Remember, it's where you had your beginning chain, so it's straight across. It's not the bumpy side on the bottom. So you're going to make sure that you're at the top of the shrug and the bottom of your hood and find the middle seam and find the middle of your shrug, and you're going to sew the hood on. 
If you choose not to sew the hood off, you don't want to do the hood, then your shrug will look great by itself without the hood. And it will look something like this, and it will look really cute over anything. And, um, of course, I really love the hood on it, too. It's optional. Uh, it looks great over some of these little summer tops that I've made. And um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you wear it, and it looks great. And I'd love to see some of your projects. And please do um, like our videos and subscribe to our channel. We would really, really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. And we're trying to get um, to 500 subscribers by Christmas. So thank you so much.